Hi and welcome to this training series on how to improve your core strength for high speed boat operations. My name is James Wilson and I'm a former Special Operations Commander and have 20 years experience in the water operations industry. I've designed this training program to help you improve your core strength. Now I believe the core is the centre of where all your power comes from. So today I'm going to show you a couple of quick exercises broken up into a one week program that I recommend you could follow when preparing for a boat operation activity. Okay, the first exercise we're going to do is a Swiss ball sit up. Now simply sit, sit on a Swiss ball, firmly plant your feet on the ground and move in a position where your body's horizontal to the ground. Now engage your core by pulling up on your stomach, place your hands across your chest and simply squeeze up through your core and then raise your chest up, squeezing the core. Hold for a second and lower. Simply repeat this activity and controlled motion for the desired number of reps. I reckon about two sets of 20 reps will get you started. Okay, the variant of this exercise is a twisting Swiss ball sit up. Here we're going to focus on building the oblique muscles within the core. They're the side muscles of your abs. Again, adopt the same position, arms up on the chest or behind the head. So as you come forward and squeeze, just twist your elbow to your opposite knee. Coming back down, control movement, squeeze, bring up, all the opposite knee, hold, and lower back down. Again, repeating for the desired number of reps. Again, looking at two sets, 15 to 20, maybe up to 30 for more experienced guys. Now the last exercise for day one I recommend, uh, doesn't just focus on the core, but also focuses on the full body from the chest and shoulders right through to your core and hips. And that is the Swiss ball push-up. Because you can do normal push-ups if you don't have a Swiss ball, but definitely using a Swiss ball is much more effective. So to do the Swiss ball push-up, you grab the Swiss ball, place your hands either side of the ball, place your feet out, adopt a nice straight uh, position with your body. Lower down to your chest as the Swiss ball, pause, back up again. Simply repeat the desired number of reps. It's this un unbalanced motion that's really going to do the work through your core and your chest. For those more advanced, simply use a platform, a bench, or just a home chair. Pop your feet up on the chair, adopt a nice stable position, and complete the exercise in the same manner. Right, so day two, so we probably have a day's gap between doing our first series of exercises to our second, and the first one to start with is what we call plank. Here we're making a horizontal position with our body and simply holding up on our elbows for support. Now at first it seems pretty easy, but once you get going and maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds into it, to a minute, you'll really start to feel the pressure on the core. So you adopt a nice firm brace position with your elbows, Raise your body up, feet can be together, nice straight line through your body, through your head, and just simply hold for the desired amount of time. Try and relax in the position, but you'll feel you're, you're pulling on the core naturally by being in this position. Now I'm going to hold, do two sets of this, depending on how advanced you are, maybe 20 or 30 seconds. More advanced guys, up to a minute. Once we've done the front plank, we're going to move on to a side plank. Simply again. Top the firm brace position with your elbow, nice straight line with the body, and balancing on the outside of your toe, of your foot. Here we're going to hold this position through the core, focusing on the oblique part of the abdominals, and hold for the desired amount of time. Again, completing your time on this side, swap to your other side, and complete your total time. Now moving on to the last exercise of day two, this is the single leg deadlift. Here we use a dumbbell, a one foot stance to make an unstable platform. We're simply leaning forward, touching the ground and standing back up again. What we're doing is we're engaging our whole core and balance and really putting our body through a, a unique process of balancing, engaging the core and then leaning forward, which we incorporate the glutinous maximus muscle, your lower back and your leg muscles. So simply pick up your dumbbell, or no wait if you're starting first, stand, on your opposite leg. So I've got my dumbbell in my right arm, so I'm going to stand on my left leg. Dumbbell down by the side of the body, right leg up, and use my left arm for balance. I simply lower the weight forward after engaging my abs and my butt down with control, touch the dumbbell on the ground, and raise back up again. What you find is your arm and your leg will move together to maintain that balance anyway. Move down and drive back up again. Down. Drive back up again. Complete the desired number of reps. 
Swap hands, swap legs, this time to right leg, left arm. Again, using your opposite arm and leg, balance, drive. So our first exercise for day three is what's called the Turkish get up. Now, a slightly unusual exercise, I suggest most of you actually haven't done it before. It is probably our single best exercise for overall core stability development, particularly focused for boat drivers. So all we're going to simply use is a, a mat, a dumbbell, and some good technique. So I'll just simply work, walk through the process. Pick up your dumbbell, lay back on the ground, and hold your dumbbell straight up in the air. With my right arm, so I'll actually slightly raise to 90 degrees my right leg. Now we'll do it in stages. So stage one is, is raising your body up and using your outstretched arm to move into a sit-up position, bracing yourself with your rear leg, your rear arm. From there, we're going to drive our opposite leg through our body, bracing on our rear arm, drive up, maintaining the dumbbell up forward and through. We've got ourselves in a position two, so more like a, a single leg lunge. Drive forward and up. From here, drive up our front foot and we stand up with the dumbbell above our body. To lie back down, we reverse the process. So down to a lunge position, arm back out for support, kick our leg through, and lower back, body back down. We simply repeat for the desired number of reps on either side. Next exercise we're going to do is going to focus on developing the lower back. Now the core involves a number of muscle groups, so we're talking about the front core, a deep abdominal core muscle, obliques, and of course the lower back. So when training the core, we should be incorporating all those muscle groups. This exercise for the lower back extension. A lot of gyms have a special machine for this. You can simply use a ball or you can lie on the ground. But I'm going to show you how to use the ball. So using our trusty Swiss ball, if you lay your body over it, extend your arms straight and place your arms on the back of your head. Roll your body forward around the ball and use your lower back. Raise your chest up until you've got a nice straight back position and you're feeling it strong through the lower back. Hold that position and lower back down. Raise up, hold and lower. It will complete the desired number of reps. So our last exercise for this training program is the single leg lunge. This one's going to focus on developing, of course, your core, your glute, and your quad. Again, an outstanding exercise for boat operators. I'm going to use a single dumbbell here. You can use a dumbbell, a barbell over your shoulders, or no weight at all. The process is pretty simple. Stand, feet together, engage your core, pick up your weight, and simply step forward, a nice comfortable distance, with the leading foot. Balancing from your front foot and driving through your quad, Using your rear foot just for a bit of balance, drop down to your knee almost touches the ground, hold and drive up through your front quad leg. So we repeat this motion for the desired number of reps. And you're looking at two sets either side, left and right leg, probably about 10 or so reps, uh, reps per, per leg. Driving down and up. Now well, that completes the program today. Hope you got something out of it. Remember, consistency is the key here. Do these exercises every week, build up your weight, changing your reps, changing your sets, and you'll find your performance for both operations will be improved.